Well, hello, YouTubers. How are you guys doing? For today's review, I'm proud to bring you this all-new 2015 GMC Yukon SLT. And this is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the Yukon. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over some of the performance specifications, and show you many of the unique and interesting features that this vehicle has to offer. So we'll go ahead and get started by walking around the exterior. This exterior color is known as Onyx Black. It looks very nice. 2015 was, was the first year that the GMC Yukons and Yukon XLs have gotten a nice redesign. This has fog lights built into the bumper. Factory HID headlights. Little GMC emblem built in there. Got factory 20 inch wheels wrapped in Goodyear Wrangler SRA tires. Running boards along the side. SLT badge up there. Being the SLT package, it does come fully loaded. Very nice. And before I go on the interior of this car, I would like to show you that it does have a remote start. It's very simple how it works. You basically hit lock and the remote start button. You just hold it down. And there you go. And to turn it off, just hit the button again. And before I go on the interior, I'd like to show you that this does have a remote smart key access system. New for 2015. Gaining entry is as simple as having the key fob anywhere on your person. For example, having it here in my pocket. To lock, just simply press this button on the door handle. And that locks it. And after waiting for about a second, just tap the button again. Press it once to unlock the driver's door. And twice to unlock both all the doors. Inside, this does have a jet black leather interior. You have all your power options right here. Your power windows, window locks, power door locks, and power mirrors. The mirrors do automatically fold in. Just press this button in the center. And it folds them on in. Very nice to have if you're parking in a tight garage or even going through a car wash. All right, now let's go ahead and jump inside. Very nice. And also along with the smart key system, also another thing that's new for 2015, this truck now features push button ignition. So just have the key fob anywhere inside the vehicle. I usually like to keep it up there in the cup holder. Put your foot on the brake. Simply hit the engine start button to start the engine. Nice. It's got a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice and smooth power assisted steering. This is electrically assisted. So smooth you could practically toss it back and forth. It's got a 6 speed 6L80 automatic transmission with manual shiftability controlled by the plus and minus on the side of the shifter. Your numbers will show right up there in the dash. Also, you do have a tow haul mode, which raises the transmission shift points for better performance when towing. The shifter is also leather accented, giving a nice little soft touch. And once you put it in reverse, it does show your integrated backup camera through the navigation screen with guidance lines that automatically adjust by turning the steering wheel. Also, you do have a little vibration mechanism in the seat for every time you get close to something, it'll vibrate either the left or right side so you know that you're about to hit something. It's a nice feature to have. So let's go ahead and turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights, fog lights, and hazards. Both the front windows are fully automatic and the back windows are just automatic down. So let's go ahead and check out the exterior.
turn signal markers are up in the mirrors. Be a little sound of the exhaust. It does have a pretty quiet sound. All right, now let's go and go back in. Shut off all the lights. And now, I'm gonna pop the hood and show the engine. At the business end of this Yukon, we find here it's good old 5.3 liter small block V8. Derived from the Ecotec 3 family. The new member produces 355 horsepower and 383 foot-pounds of torque. This engine has been redesigned with direct injection, still features cylinder deactivation from the previous gen. Active fuel management actually comes with cylinder deactivation, which shuts down for the engine cylinders at highway speeds to save a little bit of fuel. Which is very nice because the EPA fuel economy essence for these range between 16 miles per gallon city and 21 miles per gallon highway on rec regular unleaded gas. Very nice fuel economy numbers for such a big SUV. So let's go ahead and shut the hood here. All right, let's go ahead and go back in. And now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. It does have a rev limiter around 3000 RPM. Very nice. Your parking brake's located right down here. Just press to set. And your indicator light will show right up there in the dash. And then pull and press it again to release. All right, now let's go ahead and shut the door and roll up the window. And check out some of the interior features. This does have a Bose premium sound system. Very nice new media setup. All your presets are down here. You have your voice activation there, your play and pause, rewind and fast forward. It's very nice. You can go to your menu, you can go to your tone settings, auto volume, HD radio, your RDS on, and update your station list. Right up here is control it's for your radio. All your radio stations are are through right here. Set your genres. Very nice thing to have. You could actually store up to 25 presets, which is kind of crazy, if you ask me. If you go over here to your phone. List all your contacts there. There's your compass. Let's go through AM FM. You do have XM satellite radio on this vehicle. And you go through your media. You do have an auxiliary. Fortunately, this doesn't have any media hookups. Right here's your track seek. Your eject. For your CD player down here. Go to home. You, you, there's your audio, and your phone, OnStar, Nav, your settings. Your OnStar, text, Pandora. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a navigation disk in it, so I can't show you the nav right now.
Your tunes right over here. Very nice system. Your climate control is down here. Your fan speed's right down here. Temperature. This is a dual climate control, so the driver and passenger can have their own temperatures. You can press sync if you want to control both sides at the same time. Up here is all your different zones, your front defrost, rear defrost, recycler and your AC controls. Of course this to turn off your AC. This does have heated seats and ventilated seats. Also for the passenger side as well. Right here is your rear air controls. Your different zones, your temperature. Automatic AC, turn it off back there. Power point down here, one, two auxiliary ports down there. Cup holders and center console, nice large center console storage. Your visors are up here. You do have a little vanity mirror right there. Nice that the lights slowly start coming on. Same on the other side. Sunglass holder, and also a little, little mirror to monitor your rear passengers. Interior illumination. Right here is, is for your automatic rear lift gate. Home link for your garage door opener. Two little reading lights right there. Automatic dimming rear view mirror with built-in OnStar. Glove box. Two, two storage compartments on the door. Memory seats down here. You do have a multifunction control steering wheel. Up here is for all your heads-up displays. Right here you can go through your info, your audio. You can show your average miles per well, for info, you can go through go through things like your digital speedometer, trip A, fuel range, oil life, tire pressure monitor, fuel economy, trans temperature, and back to your electronic speedometer. Then up to your audio, you can see all your radio stations there. Go to your phone, nav settings set it from US to metric you shoot trip A trip B fuel range oil life you can set different kinds of info pages to show up All right there's your speed warning and back up to your info very nice Right here's your voice activation and your phone controls there. Cruise control off to the left. Heated steering wheel. It's a nice feature to have. You also do have your radio controls behind the steering wheel. To the left is your track seat and right is your volume. Wiper controls are located on, on the turn signal stock. Right here is your rear parking assist, power pedal adjust, power sliding, tilting steer telescope and steering wheel. It's a must to have in this thing. Full power sliding, tilting driver seat, with power recline and power lumbar support. I'm going to show you the back seat. You have a pretty good amount of room back here. I'm 6'5 in height, and this is how much room I have. You have two reading lights up here, little AC vents up above, climate controls con controlled from the back here, your fan speed, temperature, and all your, diff your different zones, auto AC, heated seats for the rear passengers. 
You have a 110 volt outlet right here to hook up a laptop charger or something like that. Another 12 volt power point. Storage pockets on the back of the front seats. These seats do fold forward for extra cargo space. Let's see if I can't show you all that. Like that. Pull this if you want the seat to fold forward, like so. This does have a power opening lift gate. Just like that. Third row seats currently folded down at the moment because there's a lot of cargo back there. But they are power folding. It's very nice. Right, right here, I'm not sure what these two do. They probably fold the seats forward and these fold them all the way down. Give another 12 volt power point there. To close the lift gate, just push this button here. Also, the back window does open up from, by a button on the key fob remote. All right. Now let's go ahead and move it forward into its spot. Also gives you a chance to look at the gauge cluster at night or as close to night as I can get all right I'll go ahead and shut it down here well guys I hope you all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2015 GMC Yukon SLT please like rate comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.